a session. Hello, everybody. Let people get in class. Lisa, morning. Good morning. Down 18 pounds since May the 26th. Hey, what's up, brother? Good to see you. Down 18 pounds since May the 26th, doing a wow challenge today. Have three new members that signed up. Wow, congratulations. Let's help them. Eight more that have asked for the program. Awesome. God is working through me and loving it. Way to go. That's the way we do it, Lisa. Living it ourselves will inspire other people to join us. Great job. Hey, Lynn, we got Lynn with us. I've been missing my daily Lynn installation of joy. I've been working so hard. We haven't got to connect, dear Lynn. It's good to, good to see you in the classroom. I need some of your infectious joy installed in me. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Hey, everybody, let's go. Oh, I'm sorry, Tammy. I got to do that. I do so much, y'all. I'm telling you. I can't keep up. Thanks for reminding me, Tammy. Thanks for reminding me. All right. Hello, Joni. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Aaron Bradshaw down 53.5 total pounds so far since May the 8th. Now, that's called beast mode right there. Way to go, Aaron. That is tremendous. When are we having influencer training? Uh, soon. I, pro <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I promise I won't let you down. If I'm still live and kicking, I'm not going to let you down. It's, it's coming. Sasha's actually paying out influencers today. She's cutting checks today. Good job last month for our first month. Had like seven signups. Pretty good. What's up, everybody? Good to have you. This is our regular Shibboleth member meeting. We do this every single day at 1030 unless the Lord says some, the power's going out or you know something like that. Every single day we go live at 1030 to answer any questions, comments. I do know that there are emails in my box that I have not returned. When I'm not returning it, and you know that I want to, right? You know that I want to give you that personal attention. Um, when I'm not returning it, it's because I can't. So please utilize our great team, myshiboleth.com, myshiboleth.com. Joni and Tammy and Lara do a fantastic job of answering everybody and getting the answers that you need. You can go to myshiboleth.com and there's a chat right there on the page. And uh, if you can't make my live sessions, most of the time, the live sessions are two-a-days. So that's my way of making sure you know that I want to help. But if I can't return the email because there's too many, then uh, please, please don't get upset. Please reach out to us, myshiboleth.com, the chat feature, and our team will make sure you get an answer. And if we're not, you need to yell and scream and kick because it's not our intention. This behavior modification thing is a real deal. Um, Shibboleth is not just a diet. It's not just even a, a lifestyle. It's a behavior modification program. We have, when we're trying to change those behaviors, food addicted behaviors, it, you need some hand-holding. We get it. You need some help. No, no shame in that game. I have things that I need help with, certainly. So there's no shame in that. You've got long-standing habits. is isn't anything to get down on yourself about. Once you decide to change and want to change, we're going to help you. So just know that. We want to help. Our heart's desire is to help. All right, so I am here and I'm ready to answer questions. I have, as Tammy can confirm, I've got about 20 minutes in today's session. Then I must go. And then we have the 1230 partner session. 
uh, exclusive to our partners. We will be talking perfect pairings. Everybody's welcome to attend one class for free. We'll be talking about perfect pairings today. And we will also be talking about the new live exercise classes uh, that we'll be starting. Looking forward to those. Sasha and I will be in our leotards and helping people stretch, perform body weight exercises, modify body weight exercises, be doing a lot there. Any questions, comments, ask away. Brian, I'm glad you like the ProFlex bar. It's my whatchamacallit meal replacement. And I finally got back in, Lynn. They wouldn't let me order anymore last month. So I, they thought I was eating so much I was retailing it, but <laughs> I'm not. I got my cereal back in. Love this stuff. It's outstanding. Simply fit blue, this addictive to six big clusters with some unsweet almond milk and some hemp flakes or some Kroger Carmaster fat free bear life. Big chunks. Six of those with some hemp flakes and milk is booty burning deliciousness. I love it. Yeah. Got to be careful with them though. You overeat them, you get in trouble with the fat bus. Huh, huh? The other thing that I love, people say, quit talking about that stuff. I can't. I can't. It's, it's life changing. Radicalness. <laughs> I love it. This is mine. It's the best thing. I have changed my whole thoughts on supplements after weeks of this stuff i've changed my entire thought process on supplementation i always thought it's just a little add-on might help a little bit not this baby this this baby helps a lot <laughs> uh, even my poop is changing even my poop is healthier and that's because of the fluorify and the 11 probiotic strains in it and that's just one component of it. Greatest thing that I've ever been introduced to is called peak performance. It is amazing. If everybody's not on that, I know that that's one thing that I'm going to upset people about. They're going to say, he's all about that peak performance. You're darn straight. You ought to take care of yourself. We live in a culture with a depleted food supply, little nutritive value. No wonder we're all depressed and feel like crap. There's no wonder we don't have all those nutrient needs. And then we're taking supplements, by the way. Didn't mean to turn this into a supplement class. We're taking supplements that are synthetic ingredient supplements that the human body can't even absorb, but we're buying it because it says it's got a vitamin or mineral in it, but you're not even absorbing it. This is the real deal. So... If you, if you, I've got three layers of, I believe so much, four layers of vitamins, right? For those people that do not want, there's some people that don't want to do business with us because they feel like literally they, you know, some do feel like, well, he's just trying to get in my pocketbook. He's always trying to sell me something. So I say, all right, that's not true. Get you a good GNC vitamin. Okay, GNC has a really good vitamin. So if you don't want to do business with us, you still need to be taking a vitamin. Please do GNC. They have a great multivitamin. Now, now can I speak? <laughs> I just try to eliminate excuses. I used to be on the other side of the camera, and that's how I thought. I was a cynic. He just wants my money. <laughs> she just wants my money. So... GNC is a good place to go. GNC is a good place to go for your vitamin. Their brand, not those others, not the other ones they have on the shelf. GNC. Beverly, we don't sell it. Beverly has a good one. But then we have the awesome vitamin. I created and come up with uh, the help of Kristen and a manufacturer we come up with one that we're real proud of called the Awesome Vitamin. We called it Awesome because it's budget friendly. It's a one a day and it's very inexpensive per day. It's, it's less than the cost of a Tootsie Roll per day. 
So if you can afford a Tootsie Roll, you can afford the awesome vitamin. Now, if you want to really take care of yourself and upgrade yourself, there's two others I recommend. And that is, as y'all know, what I started with 20 years ago, Metabot Nutrition System. And I have not in 20 years run into anything better until recently. And it's far superior to anything I've ever offered before. I actually don't make as much money off of it to keep our lights on. But I was not going to let y'all come in here and tell me how much better this was than what I offered and me not offer it. Uh, peak performance is the best I've ever seen. I, I don't know of anything on the planet Earth that even rivals it, even comes close to it. That's just honesty. How much is collagen boost in the Meluca products once someone gets in the shopping club? Uh, I think with the discount, it's in the 30, 30-ish range. It's in the 30, $30 decade there. Without a discount, it's in the 50s. Am I missing the Q and A? Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, oh, well, you're you're here now. All right. Sasha was on appointment. Didn't know if she'd be able to attend. She's now attending. Thank you for your patience. Boom. Prettier face to look at. Coming soon. Doctor Elizabeth, I want clean eating, but I have to have my daily shake with hemp flakes, egg whites, protein whey, collagen, and mellow out. Is that okay? Yes. Herbo. When, if you're new here, if I say blowtorch, that's really good. Is everybody with me? I have lingo that I like. If I say blowtorch, fabulous. If I say turbo, even better. That's a turbo right there. You still have to count those calories. It's going to be a meal episode, but it's a turbo button. Gwen, somewhere I heard the capsules are better and more absorbing, but I guess with the Shibboleth Awesome Vitamins, these are still as good as capsules. That's not necessarily true. I don't know where we heard that. Um, it depends on actual the actual ingredients as to whether a vegan capsule is better that um, has slow, slow release sustaining where it, 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 it digests so slow, it slow releases the ingredients. Capsules versus tablets depends on what's in it. Uh, in in the when you see that much, when you see a capsule like is in, it's not necessarily true. Okay, so when I sit, when you see a capsule, like these in my peak performance. These are all capsules. That's because there's a lot of singular ingredients in there. Um, when you see a big tablet like ours, it's because we tried to pack everything in it. So in our case, would it have been better to, to divide it up into capsules? Yes, but it would become less budget friendly. So we did what we did because we needed a budget-friendly alternative that was less than the cost of a Tootsie Roll every day and addressed people that said, I can't do all those capsules. I need one, one a day. One a day's most often are tablets. Matt, I joined a few years ago and am a Tiger member. I've been off Shibola for a couple of years. Wanting to get back on Faithfully, any recommendation for a restart, I do. And Sasha, jump in any time. I do. Uh, I have, um, I think it's going to be a real help, real, very helpful. Sorry, I can't talk too much. Happy juice. Uh, it's going to be very helpful for reactivation. And I think everybody should do it to reactivate themselves. If they've fallen off the wagon right here, the fast, the fast track, you will get it delivered. Right now, you don't have a pattern of coming to the website. Sasha and I live with the website like it's command central. We live and we live and exist by God's word in this website. 
And until you make that a habit and a pattern for yourself with your journaling, your content, your education, we're going to send it to you. If, you. if you're joining, if you want to be reactivated, let us know at info at myshibboleth.com and you will get fast track lessons in your inbox and a reminder via text until you get through the fast track system. I think that is the best place to start, everyone, if you're trying to get reactivated. Yes, and yes, and we're going to, well, we should, anybody that has not earned their fast track badge will automatically get these emails and these notifications. And then, Matthew, for you, I just did actually look to see, and if you still are using this AOL account, then you should have actually just gotten fast track lesson number one from Travis. Now, those are going out in what we call drips today, so um, we're making sure that we're not causing any spam issues or with our addresses, and then the text messages are still going to go out. We're just making sure with the text um there's a bunch of things that you have to check just so you make sure that you're not flagged and they don't cut you off for the day so we're making sure that all of that goes out but anybody that has not earned their fast track badge should automatically start to get these and um if you're so just be looking for that this morning or this you know this morning they should all go out before noon and then um but you definitely have that in your inbox already so that's a good place to start and just get plugged in, just stay plugged into here. And then don't don't forget the basics because I don't know where you were at in your journey before, but um, if, if it was successful for you, then you know a lot of things you can do already as you, you know, with the threes and the fives and the, the stuff. So go back to basics. A lot of times the, the biggest problem for people when they're restarting is because they already know secrets, they already know stuff. So sometimes you don't start quite as strict as you did before because you already know how to, add those extra you know those things in the threes and the fives and 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 how to you know you you just so you you forget that for a little while just go back to the basics if you have an old journal go back to the travis has a great um list of meal ideas in the fat in the uh, fast start dashboard and go back to those go back to very simple keep it simple and stay plugged in to these videos these classes um it's just the the best and only thing I could think of is just to stay plugged into it. So, and welcome back. Yes. Well, welcome back. And uh, also the new fast track lessons at the bottom, they have void replacement videos. Did anybody get it and get to watch that? Was that helpful? So at the bottom of your fast track lesson, there's two void. I'm going through all of the void replacements that are my favorite and talking about usage for them. So if you've got yours yet today, um, at the bottom, if you'll scroll down, you'll see two videos daily that go over uh, void replacements. Add a little extra value. And again, if you're not getting these because you've already earned your Fast Track badge, then they will be with the Fast Track um, videos section if it's not already. So that's a, it's a, it's a little bit more of a like a transcript of the video and then those two things that he's talking about with the void replacements. So, um, and then if you want to be on this list, you can certainly email Travis, but we'll also have a link underneath that fast track section that you can just send in and just click and that it will notify us that you want to restart that. Um, and you can do that at any time. We're, we're moving to a system, I think safe to say, Sasha, where more of an outreach program if people are forgetting and not mind because what happened we went to some behavior modification seminars and stuff like that in the past and what it is we all have patterns right now we're seeing a distinct attrition rate and where we're finding now you can it's scary how much of your activity can be tracked and how much of my activity can be tracked Guess where most of your activity is at daily? It's one platform. Well, it's got to be either TikTok uh, or Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. So my demographic, most of your activity is on Facebook and Facebook groups. You're actually going to Facebook for your content, your wellness. Now, I have a question. When you're on Facebook, is it overwhelmingly positive or overwhelmingly fear-based and negative? You and I, 
you and I are being brainwashed. Me, you, us, for us to think that we can, our righteous, beautiful, God-fearing souls can be surrounded by that level of hate and negativity and weirdness and not be impacted by it. We, I think we're valuing our resistance a little too much. Doesn't matter if you're against all of it, it is affecting you. So if you're trying to overcome food addiction, doesn't it make sense that you more often surround yourself around not food porn, but education, focusing on what you can't have, not on what you can't have, support, love, care. So what we're trying to do, since we can't get people to the website, we used to get 3,000 people log in a day. This is not negative. We're going to address it but it's down below a thousand people a day logging in. So what we're gonna do is now that we've knock on wood, fix these spam issues, we've learned you gotta drip it out. If you sign up for the various courses, they'll be on the website, but we'll drip it out to you to remind you. But then if you won't watch it or read it or listen to it, then it won't be impactful. But it's kind of like, in my opinion, going to church, there was times that, you know, you don't want to go, but you go and then you're glad you went because it's helpful. Or you go to work out, you go to the gym, you didn't want to go, but you went and then afterwards you were glad you did. That's what we have to start doing as an organization is outreach. But we hope that you'll do your part if your goal is to, and, and I've listened. The content that I'm sending is getting shorter and shorter, right? Now, I can't teach a lot in five minutes, but I've tried to listen and I've tried to shorten the content. Um, so please be on the lookout for that. Sign up for the stuff. It costs us money to text stuff out and email stuff. So, you know, we hope that you'll value what, what we send that you sign up for. And if you're getting stuff you don't want from us, please don't report us. Just let Sasha know so that we can take you off of that particular list. I'm with Teresa Hatcher. I, I want to vacate it myself. We have our own community, by the way, that's pretty awesome. I, I wish we spent more time trying to use it because i think it looks great sasha uh we sergey and you and me we did a great job with this when you go to community this is one of the better things we've ever done but we don't use it because everybody's their own facebook we got this great community here and uh it's very positive it's awesome if you look here's how cool this is We've got algorithms in here that if you dislike a post, like this was a Cindy Norgate posted. If you didn't like her post because you found it to be negative, you can dislike it. But Cindy won't know that you disliked it. Nobody will ever know. But algorithmically, it starts looking at if something is disliked, then we look at it for negativity and if it's negative, so like if you got a lot of people, high percentage, I think we set it at like 50%. If 50% of the people dislike it, we want to take a look at it. But no harm, no foul. Nobody ever knows but us. So it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, it gives you like a warning if something is 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 negative because we're they're not here to have any negativity in the group. But it's really cool. He's Travis, if you look and see what your options are when you like something, it's like a fist bump and it's yeah. a prey. If you hover over that, Travis, like go and then like a little, like the little purple guy was like meant to be, you little devil, you little rascal, you know. And it's so fun to you see because if you earn a badge and your profile is public, then it automatically comes over here to the community. So you can all, you know, root each other on and stuff with this 
um, you know, it tells kind of what your level of membership is and, and the little heart with the hands and it means you're, you're a partner. Um, so we got, and you can message each other through this way. It's a, you know, it's, it's different See, because you do, you know, you have to move away from Facebook and use it for a little bit and see what you, you know, and see, but you can also, if somebody is, you want to see what their profile is, if it's public and you want to see maybe if their journey is similar to yours and it's, it's, you go to the community and then soon we're going to be able to actually form groups within the community. So if you had a group, like, let's say in, um, you know, Tammy, maybe in your hometown, um, or around your area, if you wanted to start a group for Texas, for Texans in, in Texas, <laughs> then you would just, you know, request a group to start and um, we can have an, your own little group that's within that community that's talking to each other. So it's really, it's, it's, that thing was a huge project and we moved on and moved around and haven't, you know, haven't given it the TLC that it deserves, but um, you should get notifications when you're in there so if you're not a facebook user yeah if you're not a facebook user this is a great place to still stay plugged in we just have to you know we have to train you know train ourselves and push you know to go use that when you need some help you know because we're our client care um is also there's specific ways that you can ask a specific question privately or publicly to our client care staff or to to travis and you know so there's um it's it's pretty cool it's gonna be it's yeah, gonna it, be cool we get uh, I might need to do a challenge with it because I forgot about all that we added to this. You're exactly right. You've got all this cool stuff up here where you can ask questions to our team. My questions and answers, you ask questions. The whole idea was to do a better job of support because we get a ticket. So like when we're tagged all over Facebook, we can't prioritize anything and people get left out. But when we move to this, they ask here and nobody gets left out. Um, but it's it's really amazing uh, what what we've put together here. And Raj is working on an app version of it. Even though it's mobile friendly, Raj is working on an app. So it's, it's, it's awesome. And you can even share your post to Facebook. So if you're an influencer, post here and then share it to Facebook. Guess what happens? It shows up on Facebook just like it does in ours, but when somebody clicks it, it brings them to Shibboleth. So it's another great outreach tool. We're the best program on planet Earth that nobody but us all has heard about. <laughs> it's true. I'm not bragging. It's true. I'm proud of what God has assembled. But now we need more people to find out about it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Anybody else? And again, just I want to double down on that. We wanted to create a positive environment where you have lots of cheerleaders. And I can get you at some point, get you somewhat off Facebook because how much food porn do you see every day? You're trying to break habits and addiction. And how much food porn? How many diets do you see? It's it's kind of like it's not good for a marriage. <laughs> That's a good thing to say. That'll be a good one to close this meeting out of. It, let me give you a good analogy. If you're trying to stick to your diet, your lifestyle, think about it. You don't have to make up a story to make me feel good. I know that you do it because I've done it in the past. How many diets do you hear about on Facebook? Because they picked up on you're interested in losing weight and they promised the world, right? So it's kind of like if you drop, if like Sasha and myself, if she's looking at just me every day, she's like, well, this is, this is all right. Travis is okay. He's all right. He has his moments, right? But you drop her in the middle of a bunch of Chippendales, she, you know, she might, flee the coop there, right? She might go the other way. That's too many options. When you've got constant options, you end up being like a squirrel, right? Chasing everything that you think you might be able to lose 10 pounds in two days. That's what we do. So we'd like to get more people because that's what food porn is on Facebook too. It's constant. We're, we're addicts. What if I'm an alcoholic 
and every third post is an advertisement for beer and vodka and bourbon. Am I going to get myself in trouble? Yeah. So we're inundated with just ridiculous. There's this shot out right now I can't shut up about. You still have to eat right, but you think paying $500 a month for a shot is going to help you? It won't help. If, if it is helping, it's because you're eating right and controlling insulin. Stop it. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, just about anything that I've seen that says, you know, that's either a, a pill or a shot or something that's um, you take to lose weight, always in the fine print, it says this is to be used with a proper diet and, you know, nutrition program. And it's like, well, good grief. Why don't you just do that? <laughs> Solve the problem. You should be doing this, which is not synthetic and not a shot. It's all nutrition, baby. It's all growing from the ground and roaming the earth and it's everything you need. But instead we want to poke out, we want to take a needle and stick it in our belly for some placebo effect that's making somebody rich. Do you know how much it costs for them to put those peptides together? About a dime. And they charge you $500. The cost of that good's about a dime. And it costs you five. Have you ever seen the peptides that they're selling? It's got just a little powder in the bottom of it. You have to even add your own uh, bacterial, uh, bacteria-free water to it. And, and then there's about a dime in there. And they're charging you $500 to lose weight with that? Are you kidding me? It, it's another way to pray, P-R-E-Y, pray upon you. Here we are. We've got a program where we P-R-A-Y, we pray, and people don't want to do the work. You're going to have to do the work anyway. Mm -hmm. No matter what you pay or what you take, you've got to do the work. There's Charles. Get hey, Charles. Brother. Yes, ma'am. We have a question uh, for Patricia Jackson. She wants to know if you can clarify intermittent fasting and how it's beneficial. Oh, Lord, yes. It's the most beneficial thing since, uh, since God, depending on what you believe, formed Adam from the earth and breathed into his nostrils and he became a living soul. If we first turn to faith, you'll find that uh, even Jesus said the power of prayer and fasting, right? Not just for spiritual reasons, but healing. When you graze all day let, let me do it this way there's many classes in the library about this by the way there's four phases of digestion it takes anywhere from 12 to 36 hours to fully digest and eliminate absorb eliminate a meal 12 to 36 hours every time we consume we get blood flow to the digestive system, energy expenditure to break that food down to help us absorb it. Digestion is very taxing, especially if you're eating healthy foods. It's very taxing, depletes energy. Remember when you're, uh, when I was growing up, parents say you can't get in, we go to the lake and uh, you can't get in after you eat for so much time because it's very taxing to digest food. When you're grazing all day and you're never allowing your digestive system to take a break, then you're just accumulating toxicity, inflammation in the organs. It's just bad. So what we ask people to do is to start with a 12-hour fast, at least. That's not enough. That's not enough. We want you to work towards a 16 hour fast where you're consuming nothing with macronutrients in it so that your organs can get a break and they can rest. When you eat before bed, you think you're resting, but you're not. Your digestive system is hard at work all night long. You can't properly recover. You can't properly heal. You can't boost your immune system. It's one of the worst things that you can do, but yet they, all in our culture, you need to eat multiple small meals a day or you'll kill your metabolism wrong. Fasting has been 
shown, not hyperbole, not anecdotally, has been shown scientifically to reverse aging, to cure disease, on and on and on and on. So when we get to a 16 hour fast, we've hit the 16th hour, we turn on something called autophagy. And then we can go as long as 36 hours and it'll peak. They say you can go 72 hours, but I think 36 hours is more doable. And I find that's where autophagy, everything I've read, that's where it peaks. And that's when our organs release all this toxicity. Uh, if you've never done a Tiger 36 three times in a week, you're really missing out. You'll feel great, and it also promotes self-discipline. But you need that time each and every day, each and every week, where you're not feeding your organs, where you're giving them a break. And not only does it have spiritual benefits, but it has very powerful physical benefits. You you Cognitively, you get the cobwebs out. You start feeling more clear-headed, depression begins to be alleviated. And it's even worse if we're feeding constantly on junk, like Reese cups and Doritos, and then it's even worse. You're just killing your metabolic fire with that stuff. It's very important to fast at least 16 hours a day or work towards it. I was really encouraged when I was not a fat, somebody that was a faster or enjoyed even the thought about fasting, but realizing that, of course, overnight, you're, there's eight hours, if you're lucky, <laughs> there, right there. But then when you said, you know, I'm thinking fasting always means like a week at a time or three or four days at a time or whatever. And, you know, you, and when we talked about that and you had suggested just do it, just just do a day, just do, just do 24 hours, just do start, you know, do a day or maybe two days a week. And they don't, don't even have to be necessarily back to back. Of course, the longer you do them in sequence, the better. But to me, I was just like, oh, I can do, okay, I can do a day. Like, let me see, you know, what, what I can do for a day, set small little goals for yourself, little um, victories so that you can you know, claim those and do the next time because I realized it wasn't, you know, it wasn't near as daunting to think of it that way because I just wasn't somebody that was a, you know, was, I, I love food. I, I love to, you know, I love food and thank God on our program, we could eat food. <laughs> and I was like three meals a day, give me, but fasting is, is, is actually the, if you can just get through one and then the feeling that you have, is, is such a great accomplishment that um, it certainly makes you want to do more. So, so I liked that. Amen. I mean, if I fasting would probably be out of the components, fasting is probably the most important physiological component mm -hmm. that we talk about when you get out of fast track. We don't talk about it much in fast track, but um, it's Sasha. It's it's been great for us, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, hey, Travis. Uh huh. Um, Lauren has a question that many have during fasting. She wants to know if creamer and coffee will interrupt the intermittent fasting. A little bit, but not enough to worry about it. That that whole phenomenon of autophagy. Any calorie disrupts autophagy minimally. Um, coffee caffeine, those kind of things, anything that stimulates metabolism can disrupt autophagy, but in my estimation, not enough to worry about. 15 calories of creamer is not, not going to cause a huge problem. Protein, believe it or not, the macronutrients that are good for you cause the most problem and that's protein and fat they disrupt autophagy greatly Travis I've missed um missed the badges and stuff earned the last couple of days I'm so sorry about that and I have to look this way and <laughs> try to do this way so tell us about it let me just look here so um we've had several people that earned a 10 pound badge so we've got um Denise Hudson Danielle Gibbs Megan Buford, Aaliyah Russell, within the last couple of days, earned a 10 pound badge. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. And then, especially after the 4th of July, so good job. We've got um, a 25 pound badge earners. There's a handful of these Christy Sorrells, Judy Fowl, Debbie Keel, Lee Peck, 
Danielle Gibbs, she must have earned hers next, the next, because I've got two different um, dates up here. So Jill Dixon, Gary Millwood all earned their 25 pound badge and congratulations. The 50 pound badge goes to Aaron Bradshaw this week and Lisa Kreider. So congratulations to both of you. We haven't met Aaron yet, but we've met Lisa Kreider up here. So that's congratulations, Lisa. And um, we have some LOD badges. So which is a pretty, which is a pretty cool badge. LOD is Ladies of Discipline or Lords of Discipline. And Ruth Duda, Janice Chancy, and Rachel Adams all earned their Ladies of Discipline badge, which do you want to tell what that about that's a that's your living the lifestyle you've earned the right to you you discipline yeah. is you're a disciplined journaler and we have gotten pushed back before so i'll make note we have a lot of christian people here that felt that that was sacrilegious <laughs> so I to say ladies of discipline no lords of discipline. sometimes oh sometimes i try to keep a straight face so I'm not offending people, but lately I've not been able to not offend people. I, but Lords and Ladies of Discipline was meant to be kind of a, a fun little, you know, just just for fun. Like we you get we one, once upon a time had like motorcycle jackets, and we had fun with Lords and Ladies of Discipline, and it was for being a disciplined journaler. Now we're moving toward the buffs, you know, but. The Bible says that Jesus is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Now, regardless of how you, how you interpret it, it was not my intent to be sacrilegious or blas blasphemous. The Bible says Jesus is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings in Revelation. Who is that, I wonder? <laughs> okay, enough of that. <laughs> Well, isn't it a, a royalty thing in some country? Yeah, we're, we, that's the problem with some of us, including me. Mm -hmm. We've got this false humility, and we ought to feel pretty good about ourselves, not because of anything we've done, but because of what Christ done. He has made us children. He's made us royal descendants. Mm -hmm. Nothing I did, nothing we did. But if we have faith, this is good pleasure for us to feel like royal descendants. We only suffer because we choose suffering. That's me. It's I like look, choosing suffering. Yeah. I need it's to choose a lean, healthy body, financial freedom. And it's just a decision. It's really just a decision. Right. But I'm learning through other people because I hear me talking back to me through other people. And I'm like, no wonder I'm not achieving everything I want to, because I'm doing what they're doing and I can hear them say, I can't afford it. I don't have time. I don't, you know, and I'm like, Oh, okay. Watching other people be the same way I am really helps me go. I'm not going to be that way anymore. You don't realize how you sound when you're moaning and groaning about everything. We're Royal descendants, Sasha. Mm -hmm. We should be thriving. I think right now what we need to do before we go today while I'm feeling positive and optimistic, you can keep talking. I'm going to anchor to that thought right there. I'm a royal descendant of the most high God. I'm not suffering. Mm -hmm. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. You talk. Well, I, I was going to say, Becky, Becky, it's good to see you again. Becky made a good point that uh, you know, it's like Lord of the manor. And um, I think I look at that as if I am, of myself i've you know i've that means i've mastered myself is what i see that those particular badges and that that particular um earning is you've right you've earned the right to you know you've mastered yourself so what oil are you using we'll see drive 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 i've got my melaleuca oil for every time my elbows break out because I'm having an anxiety attack. <laughs> I've got my myrrh. I've got my frankincense when I go in my prayer closet. I love it. I love it. I'm all about it. I always have been, though. It's not something new to me. I've been going in my prayer closet with my essential oils, but Lord forbid somebody to see my prayer closet and see my 
my little stones and crystals and essential oil, you're committing blasphemy, Brother Travis. Oh, really? Heaven is full of beautiful stones and crystals. <laughs> I was trying to recreate it in the physical realm. Sorry. Enlighten me, Brother Pastor. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being sarcastic today. <laughs> I love the Lord. That's that. Uh, I love him. I hope he loves me. I believe he does. Faith says he does. Loves my old bald head. Any other questions or comments? That really works, though. That drive, it opens stuff up. Woo. Yeah, I'm going to come get some of that from you. Thank you, Brian. He, <laughs> I, he told me he loves you too. <laughs> <laughs> right. something. Oh, snap I, out of it. Is that I've what you got, uh, I've got one I've been putting on my sciatica that I love. Yeah, I don't it's know not, what it's called, though. It's from, not the pain from, away one. Hmm? The pain relief one's the one I like. It's roll it out. That is the one. You, uh, Yeah, you really like that one. And you're not big on, you know, when you've got something, you, you're not big on um, any kind of lotions or anything on your skin, really. But you're... That roll it out. You really like Several that. Yeah. I love when we do massage. Sasha and I do. We've got a massage table. All you husbands and wives, you should get it. It's like 80 bucks and it's lasted us for how long? Five or six years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. We thought about having a workshop. Oh, I need to go. But I, I thought we thought about having a workshop because a lot of times Sasha and I's got this uh, massage PowerPoint. And we thought about having a workshop through Zoom because a lot of people in the evening when they really need connection with their spouse, we've gotten so, we just turn to food. You know what I mean? We turn to food. And when we get hungry, we're really hungry for connection and comfort. It's not what we're eating that's killing us, it's what's eating at us. So. Sasha and I have been struggling making connection with each other. And we're like, what did we used to do? Massage. So we're going to pull our massage table out and we're going to, we use essential oils. We make a big evening of it. And no, it's not TMI. We're talking about therapeutic massage. And there's nothing like that for connection. And all of a sudden that hunger, that appetite goes away because you're realizing that it wasn't the food that I needed. It was the connection. It, it was the pleasure. It, it was, I needed something. So instead of going for a, a bag of Doritos or popcorn, go for a massage. You can get a massage table for like 80 bucks. It'll last for darn near, darn near ever. And that's a way to reward yourself and, and spend time with your spouse and, you know, getting the kinks out. You know, it's really nice getting the kinks out <laughs> it's really it really surprised me how simple a thing it is because it's really just you know you think well you just go rub somebody's back or something or that it's just a it's a massage but man it's just um it's been it's always something that we know we can do because if we don't you know if we can't go out or don't have to it's really therapeutic in so many ways so it's been it's been a um, it's been a great thing to have, and, and we had been we've got so consumed with the house stuff and the you know we didn't even really unpack. I mean we're still we're still in boxes, been not knowing where boxes. we're coming or going. But we thought the other day, oh my gosh, we haven't even taken out you know the table in a while. So it's um so it, that was just it was just kind of strange how things just out of sight, out of mind, or we didn't think about it. But it was an, a, a great thing to add just to get for that connection um with each other so we use becky um there's other ones for anxiety but i think sasha and i mostly use lavender mm -hmm. yeah i need to study them more because now that we're now that with melaleuca i need to study them more because there's so many different like what you just used to drive and um but lavender is one that really gives me makes me feel peaceful but um it's a probably just a real common one and that's why i love it but there's a lot of i'm sure there's a lot of yeah, others, a lot. So i'm gonna keep a lot studying 
sandalwood. Yes. I like a there's a, there's several that I I really enjoy, but it has to go along with quiet time, you know. Um, and then as far as that massage, we ought to because I don't know that I didn't know how to massage until we got that PowerPoint, but it takes you through the whole, all the pressure points and everything. Basically after one session with that thing, you ought to be a licensed massage therapist. That might be a fun class for couples to do sometime soon. Yeah. I'm trying to get a back rub y'all. That's, that's the deal. <laughs> I'm using the Melaleuca mm -hmm. oil for my elbows. Um, I've been having got a lot of pressure on me. So I have these anxiety attacks and my elbows break out itchy and uh, never, never had doesn't happen as much when I'm fasting more, but uh, I use this and it has really soothed it and helped them. This right here. It's awesome. Thank you, Ruth. Yeah, th this one, I, I've got here frankincense, myrrh. That's for my prayer closet drive for motivation to clear the cobwebs out. Melaleuca oil for my itchy bumps. I've got sandalwood and clary sage. Oh, highest quality. Uh, Gwen want to know what we're talking about with pressure points. I went over my time. <laughs> Um, long-winded feller. We're talking about massage. Couples massage is a great way instead of eating to reconnect with your partner in the evening. Because what we tend, what Sasha and I tend to do, we go we're depleted, right? We've been doing our best to give, and she gets in at nine, and I get in at ten. Like last night, what's the first thing you do? You turn to what for your daily pleasure? Food. And we're like, we got to find a void replacement for that, the junk stuff. So the, a good void replacement is something like time with your spouse and connection. And we've got a fantastic little massage table. It costs like 80 bucks. We got like five years ago. And we've got a PowerPoint that teaches you how to hit all those pressure points. We're going to start that over again. I used to just rubber, right? I used to just rubber, just rub. And, but that PowerPoint teaches you how to do it. And the recipient will tell you for sure you needed that PowerPoint. <laughs> There's a method to it. That's, it's, it's a, all, and these are the little things that really make a big difference. So, um, all right. Well, have you got to go? I've got, I've got to go because I got to get some orders out. People I do too. I've got the orders, partner so. class at twelve thirty, and then <laughs> okay. Tammy said I got like eight appointments the rest of the day. So we love y'all. Don't feel like we answered very many questions today. I mean, do you have a video about all the oils? I don't pay them, but I, they're they are in progress. Meanwhile, you can email me travisjack seven 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 at gmail dot com. TravisJack777 at gmail.com. We will be putting them all in the library. Uh, I expect to be done with that probably within the month. Y'all have a good one. Bye, everybody. God Thanks. bless. Bye, y'all. Oh, another question. Bye, Sasha. You go ahead. Oh, that was just thank you. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye.